one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, welcome to our last school board meeting of our calendar year. Um, at this time, I'm going to be going down to the podium to do some public recognition of all that have served on the um, board and served uh, summer's worth. So, get out. Hi, Maggie Larson, 16 Hamilton Street. All right. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello, and uh, thank you for being here um, to share in our public recognition of our valued uh, board members. This was a good choice of meeting uh, to come since our agenda is light and all there is to do is praise. Yeah, I'm ready. In the past two years, we have worked thousands of hours, a substantial investment of time and energy serving our school district and community. Thank you to all the family members and friends for supporting these efforts. I recognize it's a huge ask to take time away from our loved ones. I would like to extend a heartfelt thank you for our board, being our board member's foundation. It's appreciated more than you realize. Our work is driven by a clear purpose and the level of dedication is unmistakable. As I've emphasize, emphasized before, one of the paramount qualities of a school board member is their unwavering commitment to showing up, as well as actively listening, fostering collaboration, upholding truth and law, and being fully present in their representation of Summersworth. This steadfast dedication coupled with a distinct focus on the welfare and success of our students. Can I call Mandy Jones Demers up? All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what we do. Yes. All right. Mandy. <clears throat> Board member Demers. Will you? No, anyway. Anyone that has you in their corner as an advocate is incredibly lucky. You are intelligent, strong, and have unwavering conviction. This forms a rare and commendable combination that should be celebrated by a full brass band. Okay. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, the high school concert's tonight and uh, they're unable to attend. I just needed to get that in there. Um, in all honesty, a sincere thank you for all the work you've put in. Your personal character that upholds fairness and integrity is admirable. Your professional insight is unparalleled. This underscores the human aspect of your leadership, reflecting not just competence, but also a deep sense of empathy. I'm grateful for your service on the board to our school district in Summersworth. Thank you. Thank you. Is it a time bomb? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Paul Hackworth Jr., come on up. over here. <laughs> Paul, you have been such a solid and dedicated school board member. Having served and then returning to an at-large seat after a move within the city shows what virtue you have as an elected leader and Hilltopper. You are the player that a coach, or in this case a chair, is excited to have on their team. Willingness to put in the work and working with others to make a cohesive unit. You are kind and insightful, a dedicated Summersworth citizen that has served this board well. I am proud to serve alongside you, Paul. Thank you, and thanks for always getting the doors. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Woo. Here you go. No time bombs, though, right? <laughs> no. Nope. I don't think you're at risk. <laughs> Tom, <laughs> come on up. <laughs> Tom. Tom and I go way back to elementary PTA. It doesn't seem that long ago when the kids were little and a small group of passionate families worked very hard to put on events and support the schools with fun nights, movie nights, dances, etc. Family engagement is vital to school communities. Sometimes it's the same group of folks helping out and Tom, I include you and your family in that throughout all the years in all the schools. You show up for Summersworth and you're there to help. Thank you for your service, historical knowledge, and keeping the best interest of Summersworth close to your heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
<laughs> and Don, something for you too. And called up to the podium a lot. <laughs> Don, I'm not sure I could even calculate how many hours you have served in Summersworth over all the years. You are clearly dedicated a great portion of your time and energy to civil, um, civic leadership, largely with a focus on students and schools. You have been a part of the decisions that have contributed to creating a positive and thriving educational experience. These qualities are crucial for fostering a culture of learning, collaboration, and continuous improvement. Um, I wish you and your family well, and know that Summersworth is grateful for your service and your commitment to the well-being of students. Thank you. Not a clock. Something different. You're welcome. I think you already have something that they have. They have, so we made something new. Yep. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Yeah, sure. In the, and inside. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Do you have that yet, Don? Okay, no, good. No, good. <laughs> we think you have this. Yes, you do. Don? Yep. You have, you have this, this already. You have this, I think. I yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, okay. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Is it all engraved? <sighs> Thank you, Katie, for helping out, getting the gifts, and doing all the work behind the scenes. Yes. Yes. Yeah. She has to find, like, the perfect granite state granite. I think you have to go up north and yeah, yeah. Climb a mountain. Thank you all. Um, moving to comments by visitors this evening. If there's any comments by visitors, come up to the podium and we'd be happy to hear you. <laughs> kind of want to, I bet. Um, all right, the consent calendar. I need to add a 2.4 our budget and revenue minutes to the consent calendar. Do I have a motion to add these within the consent calendar? I move to add the minutes to the consent calendar as presented. Perfect. Second. Oh. Ah. Okay, all in favor say aye. aye. All right, these minutes are added. Thank you, thank you, Board Member Marsh, for doing them. What's the wish of uh, adopting the consent calendar as presented? A motion to adopt the consent calendar. Second. Okay. All in favor state aye. Aye. All right, the consent calendar is adopted. We'll move to committee reports, our standing committee, and we will start with our budget and revenue. Board Member Marsh, thank you. That was quick. I like that. Thanks. Uh, okay, so the budget and revenue committee met on uh, December 5th at the SEU of office. Um, on the agenda, um, we discussed the FY uh, 2024 budget review and special education costs. Um, I'll read a, a portion of what's in the notes um, for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. No, okay. I, went, I didn't go to our. She left the superintendent. You notice how I'm on key, though? You said I know, go. No, I, I went really. I went <laughs> much too fast. Um, we needed our uh, superintendent report, and of course, our city council. And, for and updates, business so. update as well. And right. business updates, so. No, there is no, no business update. No, just superintendent's okay. report. To okay. Report to so I have a. Two, a couple of brief items here. I, I'm announcing tonight, uh, I think I may have mentioned it um, in passing at a prior meeting, but I've gotten some specific names. So we received a $1,500 donation, and by policy, I can accept donations under $10,000. The 1500 donation on behalf of the CTC from Stanley Tool. Uh, Mr. Ernie Gallant, employee of the company and a parent of SHS graduate Beth Gallant, a former uh, CTC student, presented the donation on behalf of Stanley Tools. So mm -hmm. thank you uh, to Stanley Tools and for uh, Mr. Gallant making that happen and 
nice to see Beth uh, went through our CTC program. So, um, so I wanted to let you know about that. And then um, uh, board members Larson, Wentworth, Brown, as well as Ms. Caitlin Carrington, uh, our CTC director, their families and I attended an event in South Berwick on December 7, 2023, and was held by the Falls Chamber of Commerce, which includes Summersworth, Berwick, North Berwick, South Berwick, and Rawlingsford. We all proudly watched as the Chamber presented awards to two folks uh, from Summersworth. Uh, first is Chairperson Larson for Citizens of the Year, um, it, uh, mainly due to her public service to the Summersworth School District and other community services. I wanted to mention that as well. Um, so thank you and congratulations. And secondly, uh, Mr. Eric uh, Inglefinger, a former CTC teacher and current social studies teacher at Summersworth High School, uh, was awarded Teacher of the Year. So congratulations to Eric and uh, both folks we're very proud of and um, great job. Um, it was a fun, it was fun event. I had really enjoyed that and it's nice to see folks outside of a different venue. So that was yeah. nice. I would add that there also the Eastern Propane was Business of the Year oh, yeah. and the Indonesian, Indonesian uh, Cultural Connect is the Nonprofit of the Year and really would like to, um, in the new year, come to a school board meeting and kind of make more of a connection. We're one of the largest Indonesian communities, um, not only in the state, but in the Northeast, so. Great. That concludes my report. All right. City Council update, Councilor Austin. Thank you, Madam Chair. And by the way, I've been advocating for public education for 30 years, um, whether that's for funding or whether that's for um, in support of public schools versus vouchers, things like that. Um, and it's a never ending task, right? And so I would drop that mantle to whoever chooses to pick it up. And uh, it's, it's uh, you know, we see some favorable signs in the last few months here, but it's never over till it's over, right? So uh, I hope you will continue that good work. Uh, from the city council perspective, we met last night uh, and some things I'd like to tell you about the uh, CMAC project. That's the project that's working on the traffic lights from um, Blackwater Road all the way down to the Dover Line, uh, where everybody sits at the red lights all day long while you're waiting for them to turn. Well, that project is about 80% complete now. Um, the engineers are going to go through and do some punchless items, and then they're going to make sure that the timing mechanisms are all where they should be. So you should start in the near future, start seeing some improvements in those light cycling functions so, so that traffic flow is better on that high street corridor there. So we thought that was good news. It's only been 12 years in the coming here in the making. So we're hoping that gets wrapped up soon. Uh, we passed a couple of resolutions last night. One was to authorize a city manager to enter a, into a purchase and sales agreement for the property over at the old National Guard Armory. Um, the gentlemen who are buying that property plan to build a series of up to 24 uh, homes, uh, sort of condominium units. Uh, maximum is two stories high and maximum is two bedrooms. So there'll be a variety of styles and, and sizes uh, but it should fit pretty well in the neighborhood. We're pretty excited about that opportunity. The uh, Little League field is going to be subdivided, so that will remain city property. So that's not going anywhere. Um, and we did um, adopt what's called the Summersworth Community Power Aggregation Plan. Uh, this is part of a process that will eventually allow all the citizens of Summersworth to opt into a program to reduce their electric rates uh, as opposed to what um, your current electricity provider charges you. If you think about your bill, there's a, there's a charge for the supply of the electricity and there's a charge for the delivery of the electricity. This program will only focus on the supply piece, uh, but the goal is there to uh, price the electrical supply through this uh, aggregation plan um, at some kind of discount. Right now they're at about 10 cents per kilowatt hour and we're, um, where the current utility provider is at about 12. So if you try to maintain some decent kind of discount there, they look at those rates every six months 
Um, and right now they, last night they were saying there are, I don't know, a dozen communities or something like this participating. And in the first year they've saved those communities about $10 million. Uh, so it's it's a very worthwhile program. It takes a while because it's now got to go to the PUC and, and get adopted. Uh, we expect that Summersworth will be participating in that program by mid-year next year. So if it moves forward and we expect that it will, every resident will get a letter explaining the program and how you can participate. You, have, you can opt in, you can opt out. Uh, for instance, in my household, we just installed solar panels. So I don't think that we will opt into the program because I think our rate's gonna be less doing what we do. But uh, for most people, uh, it's a good opportunity to save on your electric bill. So we adopted that. That's going to move forward to the state. Thank you very much, and I appreciate uh, the support that uh, this board has provided to our students. I uh, appreciate the opportunity to sit here for the last two years and, and watch the process move forward and um, make whatever comments that I have made along the way, and I think that... Uh, this is, this is a valuable opportunity for uh, the continued collaboration that I spoke a lot about last night um, to continue to occur. We don't ever want to go back to a place where the school board and the city council were two separate entities. And there, I know when I was first elected to the school board, there was really a, um, an, a not so much favorable relationship there. It was hard to get anything done because we didn't get the council to cooperate. That doesn't exist anymore, and that's been a process that's been built over the last decade, and I really hope that that continues. So thank you all for your service. As the chairman uh, stated, this is, a, this is a thankless job for the most part. Um, it's a lot of hours. I can tell you it's a lot more hours sitting in your seat than it is sitting in my seat. Um, but it's worthwhile effort, and I appreciate all of your work that you do. Thank you. Thank you, Co Councillor Austin. Thank you so much. Um, I know there was something, and I didn't uh, catch wind of it, but there was, and maybe it'll be at a future uh, city council about early ch early learning center. Is it for students or for young for our young young um, citizens? Yep, there was also a resolution that. Um, let me find it here. There you go. A, a grant for like yeah uh, to allow the city manager to enter a grant agreement with the New Hampshire Community Development Finance Authority to make improvements at the Summersworth Early Learning Center so that's going to move forward that's great wonderful thank you so much all right now moving on to our committee reports I apologize we continue where you left off Board I don't Member mind Marsh. going twice <laughs> yeah. okay <laughs> okay um, so the Budget and Revenue Committee met on December 5th at 5.30 SAU Office Conference Room. Um, we had a great meeting um, and we also had uh, team members, uh, special education coordinators attend as well. Um, we discussed the FY 2024 budget review uh, and special education costs. I will read a portion um, of the language indicating in the minutes for you and also the residents watching at home eating, eating their popcorn. Uh, Katie Krause shared information regarding increased special ed costs to meet the district's legal and district commitment obligations. The discussion of all present centered on the difficulties of budget proposal predictions for special education costs and the value of potentially developing a contingency line item to cover unanticipated costs to the next budget. Uh, it was discussed continuous and increased district improvement. Improvements with special education systems should maximize service need and funding predictions. There was consensus the district is committed to meeting the needs of students with unique educational support needs. In addition, the SAU team will update the com committee regarding district system improvements and current year potential budget adjustment considerations. We also um, relatively briefly discussed um, the, re we reviewed the existing revenue for FY 2025. Um, and the, in, 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 a, in a nutshell, the estimated total adequate education increase 
an ex extraordinary knee grant decrease provi provides an estimated decrease of $349,433 going into um, 2025. We also discussed, um, a re we reviewed the health insurance rates uh, and Katie Krauss reported a total estimate for FY2425 estimated health insurance increase of $125,344.77. Um, our and the uh, 5.30 meeting adjourned at 6.51. Our next meeting will take place on December 19th uh, to receive um, in part updates regarding uh, special education costs and to review the, uh, uh, the upcoming budget proposal. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. All right, uh, Building Grounds and Transportation Committee, Board Member Hackworth. I have no updates. Okay, all right, it's all frozen over. Um, educational programs and community outreach, no update. no update. All right, policy, I don't believe there is any. Welcome back, Board Member Tierney. There's no presentation this evening. There are no policies this evening. Um, we do have some new business. Agenda item 7.1. The 23-24 school calendar change due to the presidential primary. The date is set. Um, I think I can yeah, it. wonderful. I think I'm sorry. I'll start over. Our students do not do not attend school on voting day uh, due to the fact that the city of Summersworth um, uses the. Some of us high school, and I believe Iverhurst Elementary School. Correct me if I'm wrong. I got that right. Okay, as voting sites. Um, so the school district um, holds a teacher workshop day on voting day. So we don't have students, but a teacher's report to work, and it's a teacher's um, workshop. Uh, when the current school calendar was set last year, uh, it was not known when the New Hampshire presidential primary would be scheduled. So February 13th. 2024 was tentatively used as a placeholder for the New Hampshire presidential primary. Um, uh, and so that that was used as a placeholder and that was decided to be the teacher workshop day. Hope it makes sense. Now if you look at our posted calendar, it does say that on the posted calendar. So mm -hmm. I believe um, parents and students were warned that that was, you know, an estimate. Uh, so the New Hampshire Secretary of State <coughs> recently set the New Hampshire presidential primary date for January 23rd, 2024. And so according to our current calendar, school is scheduled for students on that day. So in order to accommodate that, uh, this, uh, and accommodate the city for the newly established New Hampshire presidential primary voting day, the calendar needs to be changed. So therefore, I am recommending the following changes. One, school be scheduled for students on February 13th, 2024 instead of a teacher workshop day. And secondly, school not be scheduled for students on January 23rd, 2024, and a teacher workshop um, be held instead. Does that make sense to you folks? That does. I yes, think we'll just need to have a motion to su suspend yeah. rules. Do you have a question first? No. I did speak to Celeste. She's here tonight, uh, inform union folks what's happening, and yep. they understand it. They're very in tune with what's going on on the political front presidential primary front so uh, that was pretty straightforward so yeah go ahead I guess we'll have one clarifying right. question so that week is I think it's President's Day on Monday the 19th right. and so just because and the kids would have Monday and then Friday off is that there's not a day marked before off that February for President's Day so it will be like no it will right. be no till Friday the 19th we that's not on the calendar. Not on the, ca that's not yeah. on the calendar. No. So the only thing I'm recommending is that one change. It's not on the calendar. Oh, so President's Day is not on the calendar. Hmm? President's Day? There's, there's so there's vacation. That oh, is that during vacation? Is that what you're saying? Oh, when sorry. is yeah? When is President's Day? This I think it's in February, isn't yeah. it? I thought it was too, but it's not. It's not a d usually it's it a day off. Probably it during the February vacation week. It is. Yeah. yeah, typically it is during the February vacation week. Yeah. I it's talked to some other superintendents as well. Uh, it is 19th. It's February 16th. So okay. that's not the Feb I mean 19th. It's the 19th. Yeah. It's not Monday. That's so not marked. Just want to make sure. February 19th is not marked off as a day off on the calendar. No. 
We don't, they don't have President's Day off. Okay, thank you. Is that clarifying question? Okay. And I just so you know, other schools are doing the same thing. I have to, reached yeah. out to a couple other folks and superintendents and kind of what we're doing, so. Okay. All right, go. Great, so I have a motion to suspend rules to, in order to adopt the calendar. I make a motion to suspend rules. Okay, do I have a second? I second. Do I have any discussion? All right, all in favor say aye. 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 So I'm looking for a motion to accept the superintendent's recommendation, you know, to um, make February 13th a school day and January 23rd a professional uh, development day, a no school day for students. Um, the calendar adjustment. Oh, yeah, Marsha. Yeah, I'll make, I'll make that motion um, that, that we adopt the superintendent's recommendation that we set uh, January 23rd, 2024 as a no school day. And I'm sorry, did you say also a no teacher workshop it day? Is, it is a professional development it, day. It, and it will, so it will be I a professional. Motion if you want to use that it. would be, <laughs> strike what I just said. Just to make it easy. Make it it's, easy, it's, yeah. It's, it's yeah. I move to approve the superintendent's recommendation with respect to changes to the 2023-2024 school year, specifically school be scheduled for students on February 13th, 2024, instead of a teach, teacher workshop day and school not be scheduled for students on January 23rd, 2024, but that the teacher workshop still be held on that January 23rd, 2024 day. Second. Second, okay, any discussion about this motion? All right, all in favor say aye. 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 All right, we've changed the calendar. Will there a notice will go out? Yeah, notice will go out to parents. Mm -hmm. I just wanna have it formalized here and Perfect. then I'll get hopping on that and uh, let the staff know and then parents will know. Perfect, thank you. All right, agenda item 7.2, our superintendent search. Um, this is the authorization to post for a superintendent opening for our 24, starting in, um, you know, is it July 2024? Um, it would just be a good time to start to post it and would like the, you know, support of the board now formally to be able to start <laughs> a superintendent search is really just um, posting the position. We have a, so the motion would be to, you know. I move that we um, post the superintendent pos yeah. opening for, in, yeah. in July. Um, or no, now. We now. post it now, yep, to start oh. in um, July 2024. Oh, oh, for the position to start in July. Gotcha. I know you yes. Okay, yeah. Second. Yep, yeah. yeah. okay. Any discussion? It's a good time to post. All right. All in favor, say aye. Aye. All right. All opposed? All right. We'll move forward with that. Um, all right, agenda item number eight, our old un unfinished business is to approve uh, our fiscal year 25 proposed SAU 56, 24, 25, SAU 56 budget. Um, Katie, did you, nothing? We've been, we've presented this yeah, in early presented. November. You had a hearing, you, you, you vetted it. We're ready to move it forward because I, it needs to meet the timeline for Rawlingsford's uh, SB2 process. All right. I move to approve the um, fiscal 25 year proposed SAU 56 budget. Okay. I second. Okay. Oh. Great. Any discussion? Questions? Okay. Nothing. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? All right. Support and approval for the fiscal year 25, the SAU, the SAU building, you know, the SAU offices, just for clarification, not our total budget for the Summers Rose School District is approved. Future meeting dates, um, as board member Mar said, there is a uh, budget meeting the 19th. I think that is the official last um, public committee meeting this year at 5.30 at the SAU. And then our next school board meeting is January 9th, 2024, January 23rd. Oh, yes, you have another one? Yep, that uh, worth. I have Jenny. a quick question. Um, our, we have a school board meeting scheduled for the 23rd. That we just voted to have um, that off. Different do we month. do it? Different month. Same month. Nope. No, same it's time. January. We just voted yep. to um, the primary will That's be held. That's when the primary is. Yeah. January twenty third. So so it and may be an issue here. We also have. <laughs> oh yeah, the polls close at seven. Yes, Councilor Hassan. The polls are here. Okay. Oh. Oh. That's right. Yeah. Well, we'll work on that. Plus, there's polls at the high school too, so if you might have to have a. I don't know if black you can box? still have it in the black box, but I mean, there'll be voting we'll going on out. there. We'll figure it out. 
Or we can know I have a new name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're, um, I, yeah, I think it would be too hard to have here. I think the black box could be a possibility, and we could make it later, because I believe the polls close at 7, 7 o'clock. So um, we'll have to look at that. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Thank you. Yep. That was a great catch. I was remember Tierney. I yes. was thinking it was all in February. That's why I was confused. Um, yes. Yeah, so when is the inauguration? I believe it's the first Wednesday. Because have we received notification? We have not. Uh, no. For the new school board the and the new council. I think council. it should be happening soon. It's the first Wednesday, so it's January fourth. I don't know the details yet. I don't think the details are quite known yet. I think it's a Wednesday. Okay. I. As long as it's before the ninth, I just <laughs> I, th I thought last year it happened later, yeah, mid January. I, so I just you was checking. Have received word yet? Yes. Okay. Brown. I know we. Uh, I got a letter from the city, saying that you know uh, the election results that I'm now on the school board yeah. and to expect an inauguration. So we should have all gotten one of those letters. But then when you follow up with the, the city, then because the letters had to go out before they set the inaug inauguration, yeah. but it is the fourth, as Don indicated. And I don't know if it was at 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock. Oh, so it's Thursday. 6 o'clock. Yeah, 6 o'clock on the 4th is what Don and I are thinking, okay. recalling so it is. So Thursday. So then why did you have to follow up with the city? Because the letters thanking you for, you know, winning the election seat um, did not had to go out before they had N set the inauguration date. So that's why the letter didn't have it. We will get notification. Yeah, we'll get something in the mail. I don't know if, like, a location has been figured out yet, but I think they're working oh, on okay. it. Okay, well, no, I just thought there was some other something I missed as I got that letter, but I didn't know there was some follow-up I needed to do, but perhaps, but you just, you followed up just to check on the date and the time. Okay, got it. Yep, and I've Last got time it was at the middle school, but I'm not sure. Well, we should, yeah. My calendar notes, or at least I'm showing up at City Hall at 6 o'clock on the 4th okay. of January. That's what, unless my calendar, you know, I have a different, um, yep data but when I spoke to the person I put it into my calendar and it, and it was City Hall. First so. Thursday and Wednesday I think I don't know if it's in the charter of what day typically it is but um, yeah yeah no it's not but it's that first week okay so we'll be we'll be looking in our mailboxes for more information but yeah it's usually in the evening first week in January. Comments by visitors? Any comments by visitors? Seeing none, uh, comments by board members. Raise your, yeah. <laughs> board member Demur is followed by Tierney. It's kind of bittersweet to have this be my last commentary. I mean, we'd all like to pretend that this is my last commentary, but I, something tells me I'll be back in a different, you know, view anyway. But um, I just wanted to say thank you to you all, those with the historical knowledge that kind of paid it forward for all of us and kept us, you know, as we were learning the way, the ropes here. It was appreciated. Um, and I just wanted to express my gratitude for people <laughs> that are long-term servants of our community because it is a lot of work and you know having done it for just the two years I swore it was 10 so I can't imagine what 30 years is like done that's a whole different ball game but it's a lot and I'm very appreciative of anybody who steps up to kind of put themselves in this arena um, I'm more appreciative of other people doing it than me ever doing it again so <laughs> um, I just wanted to say that those of you that continue on for another term after the one we just had, um, I, I wish you the best and I'm excited to see what the new board does. And one of the reasons I ended up running was because a lot of decisions were being made based on what I perceived and now what the data absolutely verifies um, emotional reactions to what was best for things versus evidence-based practices or data um, regarding actual things involving education versus, you know, 
people that we may like or not like or whatever. So I just want to encourage you all, and I'm pretty proud of us doing this given the temperature sometimes of the, the work we were doing, um, to really continue to focus on what's best for the kids because I think that when things get a little confusing, when you take a time out and say, is this what's best for the kids? Is this what the data and evidence supports? It takes whether or not you like the person suggesting that out of the equation. And the more that we can all keep personal agendas um, from being the outcome instead of what's best for the kids, I think is gonna continue to be the best for our community. And it's not easy. I'm not saying that that's, like, it sounds so easy. Just don't be emotional about it. We're all here because we're passionate. But um, when it comes to the decisions, I really think that that can be a helpful thing. Um, and so good luck moving forward. I'll see you at Thank you. the volleyball court. Tierney Wentworth, followed by Clark. Yeah, I just wanted to say just um, just a quick sort of, you know, for each of the people leaving. Um, Councilor Austin, just appreciate your experience and your years of service and that you always had a something, you know, an insightful comment to make and something for us to consider just based on all of your experience. And I really appreciate that. Um, but I know I'll see you at church, so I, I know it's not the last I'll, I've seen of you. Um, Tom, I didn't, haven't really worked with you for very long, but I appreciate your background and just I, in the industry that you're in, you just you have a lot of experience. Like when we were dealing with lawyers and all that stuff, you just really know a lot of practical stuff. And you always brought a practical perspective and a, asked pointed questions that were just, you know, just kind of cut right to it. And I really appreciated that. I thought it really helped um, our thinking. Um, Paul, you were quiet. But when you spoke up, it was, you know, right on point. And, and you always were advocating for the kids and the community and just common sense, you know. So I appreciate that. Um, Mandy. Yes, I'll marry you too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I was always just blown away by how you could just sit here and you just – I, I'm here with my notes and trying to like, and you just go, and you just, and it comes out, and it's articulate, and it's smart, and it's sometimes kind of harsh, uh, <laughs> but but that's okay, you know. But and it, and the funny thing is, it's like I, you know, we've always gotten along, and I, I, you know, we we have a good rapport. But there were times where I was like, man, like this is she's she's tough, she's tough, but it's it's an asset. So I appreciate, I, I, I wish you were still on, I think you're, you know, I mean, I wish you were all, you know, of course, but, um, but yeah, definitely going to miss your um, input. Absolutely. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, and just wanted to say happy Hanukkah to those celebrating in Hanukkah right now and uh, Merry Christmas in less than two weeks and a happy new year to everybody. That's it. Thank you. Board member Wentworth, Clark, Marsh, and then Hackworth. Okay. All right. Well, now I have to say something about all of you. <laughs> um, so, um, Councillor Austin, I can't remember when you were chair board, um, chairperson, um, and uh, I came up and spoke when there was reorganization, and I was very passionate about lots of things as I typically am um, and you were very respectful and made me feel very valued and it was a great experience to be on that side how you want someone to respond to you um, so I thank you for that and um, Tom I too was there back in the Idlehurst PTA days uh, I was the other family. It was the, just the three families. Um, no, it felt like just the three families for a long time. Um, I can't believe that your daughters. Oh gosh, uh, time is going by so f so quickly. So um, yeah. So thanks for being here. And um, Paul, you used to be. You know, thank goodness Marsha is as amazing as she is. 
because this was a tough spot for to fill. Um, you were, yeah, a, a silent strength next to me, um, which, as as we all know, I talk quite a bit. So it was really nice to have someone next to me that could settle settle me down. Um, and Mandy Demers, um, your ability to uh, think off the cuff. Like, I love, as we know, I'm not great with the words. And so I'm like, I would love for you to, like, be up here because I'll think things. And then I don't say, I'm like, that's not good. Um, <laughs> and then you're like, well, here's the blah, blah, blah. And this RSA and this da, 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 da. And so, um, and absolutely no flowery anything. Um, just cutting through like all the things to the to the point and that is amazing and your ability to respond in the midst of everything that we have experienced uh, many times I have just sat here and been like I don't know what to say I have so many things to say I can't say it and you're able to like boop and just respond is phenomenal and a quality that I adore and um, I will be waiting for my phone to blow up every time we have a meeting because I fully expect you to watch at home every day. Okay, thanks so much. Board Member Clark. So I'm going to try and go after all that. That was amazing. Um, I just want to take a minute and say I can't believe it's been two years. I can't even believe it's been two years for when we first started and just baby board, because we were a baby board, right? Learning all the things and how much we've grown and all the things that we did. Like, we learned so much. Did we get everything right? No. But we got a lot of things right, I think. The public will tell us, right, hopefully. Um, but I'm proud of our growth as a board. I'm looking forward to the future as, you know, what we're going to do going forward. Um, I'm also looking forward to Mandy's text. I'm hopefully happy text. Always happy text. But this has been um, a great experience with all of you all, like getting to the nitty gritty and making change happen. It's not been easy. It's been hard, but thank you for all of your work that we all did this past two years. It was a challenge and it was hard and there was sleepless nights and there'll be more sleepless nights, but that's why we do this, right? We, for the children and for the people in this community. So thank you all. That's it. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. All right. Board member Marsh followed by Hackworth and then um, McCallion. Thank you, Chair Larson. Uh, so I appreciate that segue regarding the last, this term, the last two years. And when I think of the last two years, the word that comes to mind is uneventful, really. I mean, you know, I really can't think of anything that was too eventful or, um, but in all seriousness, I think really the word that comes to mind is true. I think I, I, I'm a participant, but I'm also an observer. And I think the the this board, including the ones who are transitioning out, um, I think were true to who they were coming in. And I say that as a board member listening to many of the board members, current board members, when they weren't board members. During discussions, including COVID discussions, right? I was on this side of the desk, well, somewhere else for the most part, but in listening, in absorbing. Okay, I might have been your hero at the moment, um, but no, I, I, I was, as you may remember, um, the lone vote in many of the votes. Um, and, but the passion that you spoke with and the eloquence and the knowledge as well um, stood out to me. Uh, and I spoke to many of you or communicated with many of you, um, whether it's through email, 
uh, on the phone. I know I received a number of emails from Mandy. Um, I remember reading them and thinking, wait a minute, I supported that. I'm like, <laughs> I, I agree. Um, and, but but you, you brought who you were and you stayed true. Again, with additional knowledge perhaps, right? Uh, but you stay true to who you are. Uh, and that's something I respect. Um, and it's, I think it's, a, it's also a reminder of the ability of people to make change, of the ability of school boards, city councils, and so forth uh, to, to come in, get elected, put the names on a ballot, not easy, and make change that it can happen. So I respect that. Uh, I'm also going to say um, that, you know, I remember, I want to comp compliment board member Larson, oh, Chair Larson. Uh, you know, I had served with Chair Larson in the last, in, in the previous board. Um, and as an observer, you know, I, it was obvious to me that, my perspective perhaps I should say, um, that too many times Chair Larson, board member Larson at the time, um, disrespected by not all but too many board members um, and it was noticeable to me and, and that disappointed me uh, and it disturbed me uh, and I did share it with Chair Larson at the time. Um, and so there was some satisfaction um, and it was uh, noteworthy to me um, when during the board change that she became, Mag Chair Larson became chair. Um, so there was some satisfaction to that. We may not agree on everything, but of course, but um, you know, I think it serves to all that change can happen and uh, how quickly it can happen. Um, so that said, um, I want to thank um, Ward 4 City Councilor uh, Austin um, for your more than 30 years of service, long time, and you may, you may not be done. Um, but as uh, Board Member Demers indicated, it's a long time, that's a long, that's a lot of hours that, to put in. Uh, and I respect your knowledge and uh, I appreciate the approach that you take. Um, board Member McCallion, you, I served with you on the last board. Um, you, um, you returned to this board um, at a time it, during a complicated dynamic, I'll say that. And you knew it, and you did it anyway. And I respect that, and I appreciate the historical knowledge that you bring. Um, Board Member Hackworth, um, uh, similar. You know, I think you, you, you absorb the information. See, I can see you doing that right now. By thinking, when's this guy gonna be done? Um, and, uh, and I have to make up for what you don't say. Um, but you absorb the information, and uh, you know I, I agree with the word um, solid, and that's not a slight, as a compliment. Um, and doo -doo. yes, um, remember Demers. I think of you as my clone. Yes. And uh, no. <laughs> yeah, and uh, but no, I you know similar. It's interesting. Um, it it might have been uh, remember Wentworth that indicated this, that I how quickly you can cut through the fog of the moment um, and, and ask those really insightful questions, you know, from point A to point B. Uh, and and I've, been, I've told you that, and I've, I've shared that with Cheryl Larson on the side. Um, and that's a skill that not everyone has. Uh, and, you know, yes, we might not be twins, um, but it's something that I really do appreciate and respect. And you said, you used the word that you've only served for two years, but that's two more years than what, probably 95, 98% of all people, mm -hmm. right? And um, so thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, Board Member Hackworth. I'll keep it short and sweet as I would. Um, I wanna thank Elf for 
the support. I was proud to serve with you all. I had fun learning with you, and I'm, thanks for all the nice words, and I hope you all have a great next term, and then maybe I'll be there too. Thank you. Board member um, McCallion and then Brown. I'm not keeping it short and sweet. No. <laughs> we still got an hour. No. <clears throat> no. Um, I think it goes back to what my brother once said because he was on the council for years. He's like, put up or shut up. So I put up and I came on the school board. And the first thing this gentleman said to me on the right here said, you're not going to be like your brother, right? As we know that I'm not like my brother. Um, this, this board and other boards that I've served on, you know, Every board has different people. Every board has different, you know, opinions. Um, and every board member brings something to the table. You have gone through so much stuff with everything this year and last year and, and, and so forth. It's not easy. It's not easy for staff. It's not easy for, you know, all the people that put together Summersworth School District. And that's us too. I mean, it, it trickles down from us, but it also, at the end of the day, every person, whether it be the custodian, whether it be a pair, whether it be just a parent that's helping out, um, these are the important times. Um, Chair Larson made a big, bold statement when she said, you know, I remember being on, you know, PTA. I remember just my wife and I getting in a car to go to a PTA for 2011, and next thing you know, they're looking at me going, yep, president. <laughs> so you just get thrown in, and we all understand that. And then there's the same people all the time, and I get that. But I always say to people in this town, in the city, sorry, everybody steps up to the plate. There's a lot of people in this city that, you know, whether they've had children in the city plus their children's children, and it just goes on and on and on. Growing up in a city like this, especially with, you know, my mother working at GE all the time, and, you know, GE was huge. It was a huge factory growing up. And to see it, you know, pretty much it's decimated, it's gone. But the city still serves and goes on and the city keeps going on. And we may be a small city, but we do three peat season again. You know, there's a lot of things that the city really does when it comes to it. So I really thank my time up here. And again, I came up here just like you said, just because I feel like anything, if, if, if people need help, if we need help, it's our job to step up and, and do something because you want to correct things and you want to make it right. You know, whether our name's on a plaque, look at, look at, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be a school with a clinic in it. I mean, that's, that's huge, you know, and, and I, and, and I see, it, it's interesting because when you look at the, the, you know, we have this beautiful, you know, new band of, of television that's going on and you see all these now, we, we, we only used to see Summersworth. Now you can see Dover, you can see um, Oyster River, you can see everyone, Farmington. And it's interesting that they're all st stating the same things. You know, we need more special ed. We need more funding coming down from the state level. We need a lot more help. And that's starting to make a movement, I hope. And, and I hope that we get that funding. But again, it's, it's always a throw up. People don't understand how much cost we actually take on. So, I mean, it, it, is, it is a different world and it is a changing world. And again, it goes back to same situations. Prices are going up hard to find pairs, hard to put meals on the table. That's where I think our city really steps up. And I like to see that in the future. So I look forward to the next board. Hopefully they, you know, this, this group that's already going to be up here adding to the new people that come up here, it's great. You know, they'll be able to help them and work them through this, the process. So it should be really nice. So again, thank you very much for everything you guys have done. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Lastly, I think board member Brown. I adopt what everyone has previously said mm -hmm. for our outgoing members. Don, Tom, Paul, Mandy, thank you for your service to and on this board. It has been a pleasure to serve with you. Your presence will be missed, but as we, we all recognize, we will get some new faces, um, and I'm, I'm excited to uh, work with our, our new, new uh, board members. And I expect, hope, to see you all on other committees in this wonderful city. The second subject I want to um, uh, talk about is the uh, winter track meet is on Saturday in Plymouth. We have a small but very talented um, squad, and so it's a little far to travel for you all to uh, cheer on the sidelines, but we will report back. Um, 
the results. So anyway, looking forward to that track meet on Saturday. Thank you. Thank you all. I think I'll just kind of, you know, we're kind of in the hour mark, but um, the health of all of this is really from the citizens, and I kind of view you all as your elected me members, but in order for a democracy to work, it takes um, a village, it takes a city, and um, I hope that your advocacy doesn't stop after this, and I welcome and thank the board members returning for coming back in. Take a deep breath. Happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, all of the things. And please look out for your, each other um, this season and beyond because everyone kind of needs a little bit more um, support and um, advocacy and, and help at times. So I hopefully that will be the focus um, of this season. With that, we have to go into non-public. Per. Motion to go into non-public. Per, it's per. on the. Per, <coughs> sorry. Oh. Per RSA 91A3 colon 2AC. Yep. Second. Okay. Maggie Larson. Yes. Todd Marsh. Yes. Carrie Clark. Yes. Paul Hackworth. Yes. Tom McCallion. Yes. Marsha Brown. Yes. Barbara Wentworth. Yes. Susan Tierney. Yes. Mandy DeBurns. Thank you, Katie.